everybody wears sunglasses on yeah, on TV. On TV. Like Never, even if they're good sunglasses. Yeah, it doesn't look good at all. All right, that's cool. All right, so just go ahead and start by saying and spelling your name and giving your title. Okay, my name's uh, Tommy Long, T-O-M-M-Y-L-O-N-G, and I'm the snowmaking manager here at Parito Mountain Ski Area. So you had a little fire here last yeah. summer. Yeah, yeah, we had a, a little fire. Tell us uh, about uh, what's going on in your recovery efforts. What, what's going on? What's what's changing? Well, you know, uh, there's there's some things changing and some things that we're trying to get to be the same again. Um, two of our lifts got got burned down, so we're uh, rebuilding both of them. Uh, one this year, and hopefully one next summer. Uh, and then we're doing a real massive cleanup job on on trying to clean up the rest of the damage from the fire. A lot of volunteer work and stuff, so it's been so cool. You're planning on being up to capacity, ready to open? Yeah, yeah, we're planning on, on opening on time and, uh, and being able to offer pretty much everything we offer on any given year without a fire. Is what you, you talked about, uh, maybe like 20% of the runs may not be available? Yeah, you know, probably 20% of our ski area got damaged. Um, it's the kind of the east and west sides of the ski area. All, they're, they're popular things, but um, they probably won't be open for this winter. And you've got this, uh, this new improved ski lift that you're putting in. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, it's kind of building off of what was here before and uh, making some improvements, um, trying to you know, just rebuild from the damage of the fire and, and have a ski lift here again so that people can use it. And uh, the hope is to have it for this, uh, this ski season? The hope is to have it for some part of this ski season. It may not be ready for the, the very first weeks we're open and stuff, but yeah, hopefully at some point this winter you'll be able to ride this lift. How hard has it been? How, how much is a fire, you know, picking up the pieces after the fire, how hard has that been? I think any time that um, anybody experiences an, an event of this magnitude, it, it's pretty hard. Um, up here at the ski area, it, that's no exception. Um, it presented some extra work for us and stuff, but it's all things that we can we we can rebuild and and make right again. Okay, tell us real quick, uh, just a little history of the, the mountain. Do you know? Um, you know the the mountain was originally started as Sawyer's Hill, uh, started as kind of a, an amenity for the labs. A lot of scientists who like to ski. And they they built this to offer that to them. How long ago? Um, somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 years. Mm -hmm. uh, and then throughout time, it, it became open to the public. And um, and yeah, it's New Mexico's best kept secret now. Um, gosh, uh, what what was the biggest hurdle that this fire caused? Would you say what was the biggest challenge? You know, the biggest challenge um, is probably. Oh, get the rebuilding afterwards, but um, you know the lifts are are steel and are, are fairly malleable. You can put them back together, you can change them, you can do stuff. One of the biggest challenges is probably going to be the lasting damage from the fire. S trees take time to grow. Uh, there's stuff that that you can help and encourage and and perhaps sway it the right direction, but Mother Nature is going to have to do the work there. So that'll probably be the longest lasting um, in terms of of you know, physical labor, it's tough to tell. You know, there was a massive volunteer effort this summer to help, uh, to help clean up wood chipping and, and bucking up down trees and, and clearing runs and, and doing a lot of mitigation work such as that. And then, uh, an, again, another massive effort to help put the lifts back together, so. You're optimistic that it's gonna be a good ski year? I'm optimistic it's gonna be a good ski year. I, I certainly hope so. <laughs> right here is where, where is this? <laughs> right here, well, this is just two steel pillars. Okay. Um, but no, this is going to be where our new up, uh, lift house will sit, where the attendant will sit to watch people fire here. Hot ash from the fire fell onto the wooden deck and ignited it, and that's what burned this down. That's what parted this rope. Right. But this is where the new operator shack will sit. This is where the new full wheel will be. And right in between the two will be the new unloading ramp. And you can see that the fire actually spread from this side, I guess, right? And then jumped over to the, ri the ridge? Yeah, the fire started back over here on some ridges. It burned around the edges. And a lot of that hot ash that gets kicked up in the air is what started fires, little spot fires. This did get burned.
market, and some of that what we're seeing on the other side is that from what was I think with a price breakdown, if, if you buy them in like June, it's three hundred and some odd dollars. Then What's the media? What's the a little yep. earlier. For, uh, media discount money nah. for a guy like Byron, he's probably right. he's probably worth something. <laughs> Get. So those are those. I th one's different. M eighteen image. Smaller. Okay, that's but the only difference between the two. That's, yeah, that's tough because you guys are so dependent on you know, the weather. Yeah, I mean, just farmers can irrigate. You, you guys need a little meteorologist for. Hey, there you go. That'd be good. In-house meteorologist, right? give us the jump on the competition. There you go. So we don't need your name and everything. Just tell us about these new snow blowers, snow guns. What are they called? Well, they're called snow guns generally. Okay. Um, these uh, these guns are made by Techno Alpine. It's a company out of Italy. Uh, that's where their home is. So you'll be you'll be using these snow guns likely for the first time this season, right? Uh, in 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 some capacity, yes. Um, due to kind of a below average winter last year. Uh, we didn't get as much water to use to make for uh, to make snow with this winter, so it'll be a little challenging. But hopefully, we will be able to test out our system and make some snow. How do these supplement what Mother Nature wanted in? Um, well, they they help. I don't think they they replace, but they help. Um, it's it, it's a good technology, and you can you can open your ski area on man-made snow only. Um, it's different type of snow. But you can go skiing on it. Echo. Okay. Well, sorry, I heard you. Ah. <laughs> uh, I know I'm a dick. Uh, can you just say, uh, tell us um, how how these snow guns will make Pyre Mountain better? How will they help? I mean, how how? Why are they? Why is it? Uh, could, could you? Yeah. How's it gonna make? How's it gonna make it better? Well, you know, being able to make snow is pretty vi. Uh, it's pretty important for us. Yeah. Yeah. It's impact resistant. No, I wish it was. Well, then it would be shattered. Yeah, if it was an iPhone, I couldn't throw it. Yeah. Um, but being able to make snow is really important for a ski area for a lot of different reasons. Hopefully, we'll be able to guarantee a, an opening date every year, um, and and be able to prolong our season, give people more chances to come out and enjoy skiing, and also just put forward a better quality product. You know, uh, a lot of times in the spring, sometimes you get some bare spots that you can cover up with this, and then also, like I said, being able to open early and, and just present a better product. Um, when are you guys hitting those? Well, Mountain shooting for the first part of December, first week in December, but because of the water that we have uh, this year, we're still relying a lot on Mother Nature, so we'll see what happens. The canyon back here is Pajarito Canyon. Mm -hmm. State Road 4 is back there, and you can see it from here, and so a lot of people think that you can... You know, while the lift's gone, um, and they're using some of the old to build the new, but <clears throat> incorporating... The They um they were so good to us during the fire. Yeah. I mean they they stayed open. Everything. Pizza. It's real good pizza. Is it New York style? Is it thin? It's thin. It's thin. All right, come on guys. I'm starving. You said shielding gas? Shielding gas. What's that? Uh, it at the at the arc it balances out the the atmosphere around the arc so it penetrates. <laughs> right. It's pretty impressive. In three, two. One. The spruce lift was totally destroyed by the Las Conchas fire, but they're actually taking some of the old lift and blending it with the new, like this metal pipe. Okay. In three, two, one. The spruce lift was totally, de I want to say completely destroyed, I'm sorry. Obviously not completely destroyed, or they wouldn't have this, but yeah, I'll just say it anyway. In three, two, one. The spruce lift was completely destroyed by the Los Conscious fire, but they've actually used some of the, taken some of the old, two, one. The spruce lift was completely destroyed by the Los Conscious fire, but they're taking some of the old pieces and building them into the new pieces, like this metal pipe. I don't know. Not bad, not bad.
they're salvaging some of the old parts. That's what I want to say. Salvaging some of the old parts. That's what I want to say. All right, this hand is about to fall off. Huh? You like that? It's all about the ending. In three, two, one. The spruce lift was completely destroyed by the Las Conchas fire, but they're actually salvaging some of the old parts for the new lift, like this metal pipe. Something like that? That's great. Does that work? Yeah, well, I hope so. Maybe when I reach puberty I could do that, but. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't saying that. Oh, I know what you're saying. Boom! Oh, <laughs> sure, it's Cindy Peak for 20 years. And then she ended up, uh, now she works in all supplies. Sorry, in Albuquerque. You know any of the guys at Sandia Peak? Uh, yeah, I know a fair amount of them. Yeah, I've never, I've never skied that one. Is that? It's fun. Yeah. Don't ever fucking try and drive up that road, though. Uh, Why? Like it, it makes this road snow? look like I-40, man. Are you serious? Yeah. They do, uh, they used to do, I don't know if they still do like one way. Uh, Mescalero run that or anything? I think they, yeah, I think they own that land or run that. Here's like a perfectly flattened beer bottle. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. And like the, the window over there, you know what I mean? Like just mm -hmm. weird shit. You guys have a sister or just two? No, nope, just the two of us. Have you worked? 